America's highest civilian honor, the Medal of Freedom, awarded to Samuel M. Walton, March 17, 1992. Good morning to all. And it is a true pleasure to be in America's heartland. And it is most appropriate uh, that I uh, should come to Arkansas to participate in this ceremony. But first, of course, my respects to Sam Walton and to Helen Walton, one of God's truly special people. We come here to honor a man who shows that through hard work and vision and treating people right, uh, many good things can happen. Uh, this visit is not about Sam Walton's wealth. He's earned his money, and that's his business. He's been generous with his fortune, and that is in the great tradition of America's commitment to this concept that I call a thousand points of light. It's not about money. Visit's not even about philanthropy. This visit is about what is fundamentally good and right about our country. And it's about determination. It's about leadership. It's about decency. His nation honors him today as the outstanding example of American initiative and achievement. And at the same time, we take note that as he became more and more successful, he never turned his back on his roots. His success uh, never altered his lifestyle, a lifestyle that kept him close to his family, his friends, and his community. But I think it's important that all Americans understand that some things are going very, very well in the United States of America. And one of those things is Walmart. And who would have thought that when Sam Walton bought that first Ben Franklin store, that his little venture would grow into a top-rated stock on Wall Street, backing up $44 billion in sales last year. Walmart is the largest and the most profitable retailer in America now with over 1,700 stores, enhancing the lives of millions. When he's asked about the secret of success, he credits his people. And he says the attitude of our employees, our associates, is that things are different in our company and they deserve the credit. And it's not hard to see why they believe in the company. And it's just plain easy to see why they believe in its unpretentious leader. There are also the quiet things about Sam Walton, the things beyond the bottom line, if you will. And there's nothing corny about calling them what they are. They're good deeds. They're the relief fund set up when tragedy strikes an associate's family, scholarships in every community where there's a Walmart store, education grants for South American students to study in America and then return so they can better help their own countries. These are the things that enhance the spirit of community. And yes, Mr. Sam's a great businessman, but along with making a good profit, he helps make good citizens of his people by encouraging them to help one another. The story of Sam Walton is an illustration of the American dream. His success is our success, America's success. And, sir, you are a generous and genuine, tireless and tenacious. And you took risks and helped our country grow vigorous and strong. And you brought out the best in people. And you and Helen have honored the important things in life, friendship, faith, and family. And at a time when uh, young Americans look for role models, those are noble virtues, and your life is going to help them appreciate that ours is the freest, most blessed country on the face of the earth. I salute you, sir, for your vision, and I am proud to give you your nation's highest civilian honor. As we honor a man who loves his country, who loves his family, given far more than he's gotten. And now, if Major Ken Sell of the United States Army will read the citation, I will present to Sam Walton the Medal of Freedom.
The Presidential Medal of Freedom is awarded to Sam M. Walton, an American original. Sam Walton embodies the entrepreneurial spirit and epitomizes the American dream. Concern for his employees, a commitment to his community, and a desire to make a difference have been the hallmarks of his career. By sponsoring scholarships from Latin America, he has also worked to bring people closer together and to share with others the American ideals he so well represents. A devoted family man, business leader, and statesman for democracy, Sam Walton demonstrates the virtues of faith, hope, and hard work. America honors this captain of commerce as successful in life as in business. I thought we were quietly living our lives down here and and uh, and, and getting by with it. But uh, gosh, it's wonderful, isn't it, to be awarded and recognized this way? We've had a lot of great leaders in this company, and the greatest thing is that we've got ideas from all 380,000 people in the company, and that's the best part. We're all working together. And I hope we can keep it going that way. That's, that's the secret. That's the key. And if we can, why, we'll lower the cost of living for everyone, not just in America, but we'll give the world an opportunity to see what it's like to uh, save and have a better lifestyle and a better life, a better life for all. We're proud of what we've accomplished. We think we've just begun. I can't tell you how much we appreciate you coming to Arkansas. It's the highlight of my career and I think the entire company. Thank you for this day. It'll be a memorable day for Bentonville, Arkansas, forever and ever. And we'll always remember it and appreciate it. Thank you, sir. America's highest civilian honor, the Medal of Freedom, awarded to Samuel M. Walton, March 17, 1992. A few days later, Dad entered the University of Arkansas Hospital in Little Rock. Even in the final weeks of his life, he took great pleasure in doing what he had always done. One of the last people he spoke with outside the family was a local Walmart manager who, at his request, dropped by to chat with Dad about his store sales for the week. Then, less than three weeks after receiving the Medal of Freedom and just days after his 74th birthday, Dad's struggle with cancer finally ended. On Sunday morning, April 5th, he died peacefully as inspirational in facing death as he had been in facing life. We will miss him. Samuel Moore Walton, an American original.